So Gunpla, we ran the first video and I talked about a couple of things that you need to think about if you're going to start doing Gunpla. And remember, I told you that you're going to have to use this, you're going to have to use this, and you're going to have to use this. But let's say you don't want to use any tools. Could just buy this. Okay, so what is this? What is it? Why is it? How is it? This is essentially a collector's toy of a Gundam. This is the new Gundam Universe collection, and so far, these are not awful. But I'm here to tell you, they're also not great. These are not the best things that you can possibly buy. They're simply not. But they're not the worst by a long shot. This is Gundam Universe Toy 2. This is from the second wave of these things. Sorry, this is from the first wave. The first wave consisted of the RX-78, the Unicorn, and Wing. And this is it. This is it. This is what it would be on your shelf. It's not bad, but there are some things to talk about. For one, color on this thing is pretty fantastic. So it's gonna look good when you actually put it up on your shelf. But, posability is a different problem altogether. While this thing may look good from every side, it looks good while standing still. It comes with two weapons, or items. It comes with the shield, and it comes with the gun. It does not come with a saber, and for some people this could be a deal breaker because this unit was famous not just for that gun but for the pilot's use of a saber and you're not getting one here. The headpiece is exceptionally well done. The back really stands out. From all angles this thing looks wonderful and will look good standing with other Gundams of its own kind. However, its size is not a 1 in 144. And it's not scaled to match those things either. All of these stand the exact same height. There is no difference between any of them, meaning that Barbotus, Death Scythe, Wing, the RX-78 all stand the exact same size, and if you put them next to a Gunpla, which is scaled for 1 and 144, you're going to see a massive difference. And there could be a bit of a problem here, because people that know the history of these units know that Wing was small. Compared to other Gundams, Wing was not huge. And that could be another one of those things that becomes a deal breaker is if you're absolutely married to the idea of the size of certain units. This is not going to be accurate. And it's not going to pose well. I have to, I have to stick you with that. I have to tell you that it's not going to pose well. This thing looks best standing there. If your action pose is standing there, like the opening title, he's going to look great. You want to do something else with him? He's not going to look so great. What I tell you to buy it? These cost relatively, depending on where you find them, $25 to $30. Is that worth it? 
Well, considering the fact that with just a little bit of patience, you could get an HG of this thing, and it's only going to cost you about $15, maybe $20, some people would say it's not. However, there are those out there that just want to display a Gundam, and this is not an awful opportunity to do so. It'll look fine sitting up on the shelf. And its color's pretty good. And you don't have to paint it. Doesn't pose too well. I'm not going to make the decision here for you. I'm just here to tell you my experience with collecting Gundams, Gunpla, and alternatives. And this is one of your alternatives. Worth it? Not worth it? Up to you. Comments in the section below if you have any questions about this unit in general, and I'll try to answer them later on. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.